Uganda business heads are aiming to build on some of the progress made by the country on ESG implementation to further align all enterprises and organizations to the global policy. A convention is in the offing and is to be hosted by Uganda. We launched the biomass uh, project which helped eliminate uh, usage of diesel in our organization. So we use steam to produce power. So there's a lot of work that's going on behind the scenes. Um, and I think this convention will give us the opportunity for a lot of organizations to speak about what they're doing, what is in stock in the future for them, and how uh, a lot of organizations are coming to the table to donate uh, funds to ensure that companies are moving in the right direction. I had the privilege of sitting with the British High Commissioner last week, and there, were, there is an organization that is in town and looking for companies that will help fund such projects. So work is ongoing. Uganda is currently among the countries that have cushioned hard regulations, where the central bank launched a strategic five-year plan that involves promoting a sustainable financial system. When we have conversations coming through from us, from the central bank, into our commercial banks, into our customers, and all these entities that are represented here are all very well-governed entities, and that's why we're working with them. We believe that as we develop the critical mass, we shall have better governance coming in. And we urge the general public, we urge everyone here to believe in what we are doing to ensure that we have a better entity and country. You have to change your board members, uh, your board composition, the, the, the composition of your audit committee. What impact does that have on organizations? But we're also looking at post-COVID, the disruptions of technology. We're going to look at the fintechs and the ch challenges they've been having in governance. We've seen all over the world there's serious governance challenges. I think we saw what's happening in Kosase lately. A recent report on sustainability also shows Kenya, Mauritius, South Africa and Egypt top the report's sustainability rankings. It is hoped the convention will address pending issues holding back full implementation.